Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to make an augmented reality app where we'll track Elon Musk's book and place alongside it a nice little Elon video. All right, so as usual, we'll start with the augmented reality app template. Awesome, that looks good. So now if I go to my view controller, you can see that there's, as usual, the boilerplate code, which we'll delete. So this video will be done in various episodes. The first bit we'll do image tracking. Then we'll use video materials to add the uh, video onto the image. And then we'll wrap it all and tie it together. Now for the image, I've got a picture here that I downloaded. And then what we do is we go to assets. We create a new folder called, so we create, we go to the AR and sync it session and create a new AR resource group. And then I'm going to name this uh, fix. And over here, I'm going to drag on the image that I just imported. So now if I look at the Elon book cover, there's a warning sign. It says it must have non-zero positive width. So I did measure the width in the real world and it was about 15 centimeters. So I'm going to add that here and that should be good to go. And the height will be automatically calculated. So awesome, now we have the image ready, the AR image that we want to track. Just make sure that you include this in the PIX AR resource folder over here. Now let's go back to our view controller. And so first thing, let's start up and fire up to the image tracking. I'm going to do that in view to load. I'm going to create a function for starting image tracking. And I'm going to name the function over here. I'm going to name it function start image tracking. Now in here, first we need to get a reference to the image that we want to track, i.e. the image that we just added into the asset folder. So let's do that. Image to track. And for this, I'm going to use a guard led statement image to track and this would be an AR reference image oh I need to add in AR kit as well for this to work now if I type it again AR reference image and reference images and here in group, the group that we created, we named it, if you go back here, that was PIX, that was the AR resource group that we made. So I'm going to add in that name here, PIX, just make sure it exactly matches that. And the bundle would be the main bundle. Awesome, so this gets the image that we want to track. And if such an image is not available, we'll just say, no image not available import one and then we'll return so that it will just exit this function because we can't do anything after this if there's no image to track great so that's the image that we want to track so next let's add in the configuration for image tracking first i'm going to create a configuration as usual and this would be usually we did AR wall tracking configuration, but this time we're going to do AR image tracking configuration because we just want to track images and nothing else. So, and then we could add and set some settings. So I'm going to do tracking images. This would be the image to track. I which image do we want to track? That would be the image that we just uh, got a reference to, i.e. the Elon pick. And then we also want to set the maximum number of images we want to track to just one, because in this case, we just have one book to track. But if you've got multiple books to track, you could increase this if you want, but this will just decrease the resource load. So configuration dot maximum number of tracked images, just set it to one. And now with this, let's start our AR session with this configuration. Start session. So we're going to get a reference to the AR view dot session dot start. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, no, not start. It's run. And then the configuration that we just made. Great. That looks all good to go. And let's just call this method, which starts off our 2D image tracking. Awesome. So what this method essentially does is that it fires off 2D image tracking, 
But now we want to know when a 2D image has been detected. And specifically here, we want to know when the Elon's book has been detected by ARKit. Because when we detect it, we want to place the video screen next to it. So to detect whenever a new image has been tracked, we need to use a protocol called AR Session Delegate. I'm going to get access to a protocol called AR Session Delegate. And as you can see, these are methods you can implement to receive captured images and tracking state from an AR session. So with this, what we can do is we can use a method to know when a new anchor has been added. Here, we're going to add in that function. That function is called session did add anchor. So it tells the delegate that one or more anchors have been added to the session. Yes, that's the one we want. So this, met this callback method gets called every time a new anchor has been added to the session. This, this is where we can get access to the anchors, the anchors variable here. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop through all the anchors. So for anchor in all the anchors that has been detected. And now in here, we want to check if the detected anchor is an image anchor, i.e. the one that is tracking the book. We can check that by using if let image anchor equals if the current anchor is an AR image anchor. So here we're downcasting the received anchor as the AR image anchor. And if this equates to true, i.e. the anchor was an image anchor, then we'll store it in this image anchor variable. And this would be the image anchor detected by ARKit of the book. And with this, we can do other stuff like place video on to the image anchor. And so in summary, what we do is we start off to the image tracking. And then every time a new image anchor is detected, we get access to those anchors in this did add anchor session. And then we'll check if the added anchor was an image anchor. And if it is, we cast it on to this image anchor variable. Then with that image anchor, we can do other stuff like placing a video screen on top of it. And that's what we'll do in the next video. So stay tuned.